Well, you know, I really, I really had the pleasure of spending some significant time with him, and uh, uh, you know what I, what I really appreciated about him was a, a kind of this, uh, it's like a mountainous heart, and and you know as I, you know, go deeper and deeper into Enneagram material, I'm just blown away at what he brought to humanity, and you know his story was that you know he spent ten years. You know, going to the Harvard Library from 10 in the morning to 5 at night, uh, piecing through and coming up with this development of uh, personality type and levels and his precision and what he landed in is miraculous. And he made a commitment. He said, you know, I, I would get down and pray every morning, you know, use me. I feel like there's something I'm, I'm supposed to be used for. And uh, I, I'm just blown away every time I sit down to teach. It's like this guy landed such a, a profound tool for bringing compassion into the world. And that's... Uh, I'm just, you know, honored to be a part of it. It just uh, is a gift to me every day, and, and to be able to teach it is a, is a miracle for me, too. I feel so incredibly fortunate that I launched my Enneagram training through the Enneagram Institute and had the opportunity to study right off the bat, study and learn the levels. Um, I have said to many people that I just honestly don't, can't imagine working with the Enneagram without those levels of development. Um, and that gift, it was Don's gift uh, to the Enneagram world, and I'm very, very grateful for that and all the work that he put into that. So two things that sort of come to mind for me when I think about Don and my direct experience of Don was his devotion to and the emphasis he put on the precision of language. Um, one of the first things we did as part of the faculty training was to go through the core dynamics and look at every single word, every single descriptor of all nine types at all nine levels and get just the right words um, at each level and he had that uh, commitment to that kind of precision, which I just found really powerful. The other thing I think of Don, when I think of Don, is I think of his sense of humor. He had just a delightful, delightful sense of humor. It wasn't a, an out there kind of sense of humor, but it was um, sort of dry and witty and just fun. Don, right. Don Riso, a very amazing, brilliant, complex human individual. Uh, he was my great friend and absolutely dedicated to finding a way to bring forward these teachings to the world. Um, Don uh, was uh, a Jesuit as some people may know. He was in Jesuit seminary for many, many years, and it was there that he learned about the Enneagram system uh, in 1973. Uh, and at some point he decided that he didn't really want to be ordained. He, he was more moved to do this Enneagram work, and uh, he decided to pursue that and then spent 12 years writing the, his first book, Personality Types. That was the book that I read uh, in 1987, I believe, that uh, inspired me to uh, begin to look at this work. But it was just very fortunate. I lived uh, less than a mile away from him, and uh, we arranged a meeting. And after you know a few times of just talking together about uh, these things over the next few months, he offered. Uh, for me to come work with him um, and what a gift that was uh, you know there was a sense of Don always felt there was some greater purpose that was calling us that was bigger than him bigger than me bigger than anyone we were working with really bigger than the whole Enneagram field and he was always reminding us to come back and sense into how we could be responsive to that calling and how we could be responsible to it. And uh, as 
I often feel uh, that he's still with me in many ways when I'm teaching or uh, working. I feel his presence uh, supporting me in the work as we go forward. So just always thank you, Don.